So today is my lazy day and I had this idea that I thought I'd do something slightly productive for once. So I decided to get a little bit sciency and crack out the old sodium acetate. Because we all do that on a regular basis. Just me. If you don't know what sodium acetate is, it's something I've used in my previous videos. And it's basically a salt-like crystal from acetic acid. And it does this cool instant freezy type thing. Which I'm going to show you how to do right now. So sodium acetate. It's actually quite easy to come by, mainly because it's non-toxic. I mean, obviously I don't recommend eating any of it, but yes, you can buy this stuff pretty simply off the internet. As you can see, I'm heating this on a low heat, and I'm going to melt it down until it's a liquid. There we go. So now it's a liquid, I'm going to filter it through this funnel using some tissue paper, and then I'm going to put it in the freezer for about 15 minutes until it's cool enough to perform the hot ice trick. When it's ready, it should be able to do something like this. Even the slightest contact can cause the sodium acetate to crystallise. Or in my case, stick to my bloody finger. As it crystallises, it's actually creating quite a lot of heat, so in fact, when the reaction's over, it's very hot to touch. Right, let's have some fun then. So, I've had the time to make this wonderfully crafted dude. Took me ages. So he looks rather chuffed about his fate. So let's treat him to some sodium acetate. How poetic. Okay, here we go. And he's got a bit of an afro going. And up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, oh dear, he's headbutted the dish. Oh well, that really wasn't as epic as I thought it would be. So, to compensate the non-epicness, here's a picture of a camel eating a sandwich. Beautiful. So that's my boring day made a little less boring with sodium acetate. So let me know if you want me to do any more of these sciency type things, and I will because I'm a geek of nature. And yep, yeah, I'll shut up now, so see you later.